this is Galen Tyler. I'm now going to show you how I give him his insulin. Um, I've already checked his blood glucose and I've given him his evening meal, which is a three quarters cup of Hills ZD Ultra uh, for his allergies. So I'm going to get my insulin from my fridge. Keep it in the fridge door. It's the best place to keep it. This is Novolin N. It is Walmart's generic brand of human N insulin. Um, you're going to have to warm this up, so I either put it in my arm for a few seconds, um, hold it in my hand, I'm going to roll it around. You have to make sure that it's properly mixed. When it first comes out of the fridge, it's going to be a clear solution with looks like sugar in the bottom of it. So you're going to make sure that it's nice and milky and you don't see any sediment or anything in there. So once you've got it nice and warm, I'm going to grab my syringe and I use, again, the Walmart Rely on Insulin syringes. They're 31 gauge and they're the short needle and I've had pretty good success with these. The only problem I do have is I get a lot of bubbles, um, but from what I've read, everyone has that problem. And as long as they're small, it really doesn't matter because you're going to be putting it into their skin and not into a muscle, so you don't need to worry about um, it traveling into their heart or anything. So little bubbles are not a big deal. So I have rolled the insulin in my hands. It's pretty warm. I take my syringe. I'm going to select, I give Tyler seven units of insulin in the morning and at night. So I put it to seven. I'm going to inject seven units of air into the vial. And then I'm going to slowly pull back on the vial to like over 10 units. Hold it. Try and get as many bubbles out as you can. Like I said, there's always bubbles with these syringes, no matter what I do, so it is what it is. Then I'm going to get that on my seven units, pick seven, and I double check it like a thousand times because I'm paranoid. I'm going to OD him. And I know a lot of people can either put this in their mouth like a pen, just to make sure it's nice and warm. Um, because putting cold insulin into the dog is going to hurt them. So you want to make sure it's nice and warm. So now the shot is ready to be administered. And again, I'm checking it's seven units because I'm paranoid. All right, and now we have my lovely assistant, Erin, who's going to be helping me today. We're going to put Tyler. Um, I inject him. I alternate every day. I do right at night. So it's night time. So... I'm going to put it in his shoulder here, very easy, tent the skin, get a nice tent there, in it goes on a nice angle, push it in, super easy, didn't even feel it, and now he wants his cookie, which I'm going to give him some fresh green beans, right out of the fridge, these are an excellent choice for diabetic dogs. They have a very low glycemic index, so they're a very good choice, and he loves them because they're cold and crunchy. So we're going to give him some of these, and that's it. Good boy.